Hi there, my name is Jessica Hane, and I'm the owner and founder of Pilates Smith, a Pilates studio in Santa Monica, California. Today, I've got a quick upper body workout that you can do without having any equipment at home. However, if you can find something to help add some resistance to your movements, it will enhance the workout. So go to your pantry, try to find two cans that are the same weight. If you have two of the exact same cans, you're ready to go. But for me, I actually didn't. So I just looked at the ounces to make sure that they were both the same. These are both 15 ounces. And if you remember, 16 ounces make up a pound. So these are just underneath a pound. If you wanna add more resistance and you have it available to you, you could take some duct tape or some packing tape and tape some of these cans together to give you more resistance. But if all you have is two cans, totally fine. You've got a set of weights, that works too. You might find that during the series, some of the movements, you might not be able to do as many reps as I do or do the holds or do the pulses. But that's totally okay, just take some breaks and do the amount of reps that works for you. Today we're gonna do three Pilates upper body series that we normally do on the reformer with weights or with our straps. So I've modified this so that you can use whatever you have at home and you can do this just sitting on the floor. If you have a mat available to you, it just makes it a little bit more comfortable, but again, not necessary. The first series that we're gonna do is called Hug a Tree Series. So I'm gonna come down onto my knees for this. And while this is upper body, I am gonna add just a little bit of lower body too, just to make it more of a full body movement and help get the blood moving through the body. So Hug a Tree Series, I like to start it with what we call serve a platter, or we call serve the cans. So we're gonna bring our knees out, hip distance apart, elbows in by your sides, palms facing up towards the ceiling, holding whatever weight you have in your hand. My ribs are pulled in towards each other, my tailbone's tucked under, I'm not arching into my back, I'm engaging and pulling my core in. Imagine that I'm wearing a corset is what I like to tell people to visualize. So pulling those ribs in, shoulders down away from your ears, you're gonna serve the platter out, I'm coming up onto my knees, squeezing my glutes at the top, and then slowly resisting as I come back down. So in Pilates, we do a lot of mind-body connections so that you can get into your body and find the exact muscle that you want to use. So if you can get into your body and get into those glutes, get into those biceps and squeeze them, you'll get even more out of each of these reps. Five, we're gonna do 10 with a hold at the end and with some pulses. We have three, squeezing the glutes, two, Last one, I'm gonna hold this one out, squeezing my glutes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, just pulse up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring everything all the way back down. Go ahead and give your shoulders a roll, give your neck a roll if you need to. It's pretty normal for you to feel that up in your neck. It just means that your traps are working out a little bit too much. So if that just happens to you, just take a break, shake it out, so that you can try to get back into the muscle that we're trying to work and tell your traps to relax. Next movement we're gonna do, same idea, making it a full body movement. This time the arms are all the way down by your sides. You're just gonna extend your arms all the way up, squeezing those glutes at the top, and then bring that all the way back down. My palms are facing up. And I'm bringing those hands right out in front of the shoulders. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. So our last one, so if you're comfortable, hold. We got ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, this time for your pulses, turn your palms down, pulse up, 10, working the top of that shoulder. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that all the way back down, give those shoulders a roll. Next, we're gonna do some circles. So we're gonna bring ourselves up onto our knees, arms out in front of you, palms up, and we're gonna circle those arms out and around. 
Notice how the circle stays in front of me. Core is still pulled in, glutes are still squeezed. We're gonna do five in each direction. And this is my fifth one. When I hit the top of that circle, I'm gonna reverse it. We got five, four, three, two, and last one. Good. No holds or pulses here. We're gonna go ahead and come on down and give that a roll. Next, we're gonna do overhead. So for this one, I want you to come up just slightly off of your heels, about halfway, so not all the way up, down halfway. And you're trying to make a straight line from your crown of the head down through your tailbone, making sure you're not dropping your chin down into your body. Neutral neck, no wrinkles in the front or the back. From here, I want you to extend those arms up to be part of that diagonal line, palms facing away from you. Just a slide your elbows off the side, make a field goal post position, and bring your arms right back together. So resisting down, almost like I'm moving my arms through peanut butter. Elbows come out wide, and then squeezing it at the top. Five, four, three, working that shoulder. Two, last one, we're just gonna hold it here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and add those pulses. So keep that field goal post position. Just open those elbows and shoulders back. Squeezing into your deltoid right into the back of your shoulder. Squeezing and releasing. Notice how I'm not dancing these pulses. They're slow and control and muscular. Four, three, two, and one. Bring everything down. Give those shoulders a roll. Next one, we're gonna start in that exact same position, half hovering off the heels, going into shaving. So I want your palms to face away from you. You're gonna connect your fingertips together kind of making the top of a triangle. From here, you're gonna bend those elbows and then extend straight out from the top of your head. Imagine that you're shaving the back of your head. So here, most effective is if you squeeze those triceps on the extension. So big squeeze and bend. Imagining still like I'm working through peanut butter, adding resistance on the way up and on the way down. So I'm getting as much work as possible. This one is challenging, even with these light weights in my hands. Three, two, last one, we're gonna hold it out there. Hang in there with me. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, little pulses up. Just again, squeezing into the back of that shoulder. Notice how I'm not moving my body, it's just number body movement. Five, four, nice and slow, feel that burn. Three, Two, last one, and bring that all the way down. Give that a roll. We're gonna finish off the Huggetry series with Huggetry. So for this one, I want you to bring your hands together, your, excuse me, your hands apart. Your hands are gonna be a little lower than your elbows. From here, you're gonna just bring those fingertips together, making a circle and oval. Make sure you're not making a diamond. You wanna keep that elbow nice and smooth, and then just open that back up. So here, we're trying to squeeze right across the front of that armpit. Getting into the chest, getting into the pecs. Six, five, if this is starting to go into your traps and neck, that's okay, just lower your arms down. It's all good, you'll still get the chest work. Three, two, last one, and hold those fingertips together, hold those weights together, hold it in here. Six, five, four, three, two, adding those pulses, just lifting that up, and down, feeling this on the top of the shoulder, still in that chest. We got six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, coming all the way down, giving your shoulders a roll. All right, moving on to our next series, we're gonna do seated arms. So originally we do this on a box on top of a reformer, but we don't have either of those, so we can totally just do this on our mat. I'm coming down onto my butt and just extend my legs out in front of me so that they're comfortable. I like to just set my heels down, nice easy bend in the legs, and then I'm gonna lean back slightly. And notice how I'm gonna tuck my tailbone under, making a little bit of a scoop into my abs. So the first one we're gonna do here is bicep curls. Arms out in front of you, palms facing the ceiling, elbows are gonna be in line with those shoulders. If it's too hard or it's going into your traps to keep your hands and arms up this high, you can totally bring that down closer to your body. But if you can, 
hands up in line with those shoulders, and then you're gonna bend those arms. Make sure that you're making a number 11 with those arms, and then fully extend out. Bend and extend. And again, we're gonna do holds here and do some pulses, just to really find a deep burn. Five, four, make sure you're still keeping those ribs pulled in toward each other. We're in that corset, zip up nice and tight, pulling that belly button back into your spine. Last one, we're gonna hold it here, just holding. Continuing to relax my shoulders down away from my ears, even though they wanna hunch up, my traps wanna get involved here, I'm not letting them. Three, two, pulsing those arms up like you're running your forearms along a wall in front of you. Seven, six, five, nice and controlled. Four, three, two, and one. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in and give my shoulders a roll. Next thing I'm gonna do here is make some deck lines. So, arms out in front of you, palms facing each other, and again, I'm gonna tuck my tailbone under and roll back to my sits bones. I'm gonna open up those arms, my right arm's gonna go up, left arm's gonna go down, make a diagonal line, and then bring those arms back together. Then I'm gonna go the opposite direction, left arm up, right arm down, and bring that all the way back in. So I'm keeping that lean, so I'm getting a little bit of core work here. With my arms, I'm really opening up the chest, squeezing my shoulder blades together, Feeling that in the back of my shoulder and into my rhomboids. Good, we got the final part of that third set. We got four and four. Last set, we're gonna go five. We're just gonna hold this one. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pulse it back and four. Little pulses, two inches out, two inches in. Squeezing and pulsing the back of that shoulder and your rhomboids in between those shoulder blades. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring those hands back together and go to the other side, starting into this hold. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Little pulses, out two inches and in, out and in. Seven, six, round boys and delts, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that all the way back in, nice job. All right, so the last one we're gonna do seated, we're gonna do bow and arrow. So my hip flexors, right across the front of my hips, are starting to feel a little bit tight, they're flaring up. So what I'm gonna do to help get out of those if you have sensitive hip flexors like I do, just open up your knees, try to soften those legs so you're not gripping into those hip flexors. So bow and arrow, it's exactly as it sounds. Pretending you're looking at your target as an archer, we're gonna start with that right arm. Elbows in a bend. You're gonna kinda roll back, twisting at the waistline, looking back at that elbow, and then you're gonna come all the way back up to seated, restacking that spine. Going into the other side, so again, kinda rolling down to the sits bones, twisting at the waistline, following the elbow with your gaze, coming all the way back up. So the goal here is to keep equal weight on both butt cheeks. You're not leaning to the side, you're just twisting at the waist. This is working into your oblique and working that upper body. Four, feels really good to twist the spine. Four, last one. Five, we're gonna hold this one here, holding nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. For pulses, I'm just gonna twist a little bit more of my waistline. See if I can pulse just one more centimeter into this. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Same so all the way back up, a little bit of a break, rolling back down, this time it's the left side, twisting the waist. Equal weight on both butt cheeks, looking at my elbow, twisting at my waistline. Three, two, then adding that pulse, so just again twisting at that waistline, not bouncing it, making it really controlled, so I can find that oblique, find the back of that shoulder, find that lat, give this squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and one, coming all the way back up again. All right, last thing I'm gonna do as part of this seated series is called chest expansion. So this is really great for your posture because it works on opening up your chest while working your back. Because you can't sit up tall if you don't, don't have an open chest. So for this one, I'm just
just gonna be on my knees, and I'm gonna bring those arms down to the outsides of my hips, palms facing away, just like in a little V with those arms. So as I bring my hands back behind me, I'm gonna come up onto my knees, squeezing my rhomboids into my shoulder blades, and then come on all the way back down. Bring those hands back behind you, opening up the chest, squeezing the back, bring the knees up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and we're gonna hold it back, just keeping it squeezed, not letting those arms fall into the body, keeping them lifted and out, that little V, shoulders down, lats, delts, rhomboids, and then just pulsing it back. Two inches forward, two inches back, pulsing your deltoid, the back of that shoulder, pulsing those rhomboids in between the shoulder blades. Four, three, two, one. Good, go ahead and bring that forward and give those shoulders a roll. Last one we're gonna do here, I like to call watering wheel. So palms facing in towards your body. You're just gonna reach your arms all the way up in front of you. Bring them into your chest, elbows out wide to the side, and slide those weights down your body. Palms face down, bring this weight into your armpits, and slide the weights down your thighs. We're gonna do 10 in each direction, nice and slow. Six, five, four, three, Two, last one, hold it out there, time. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, add your pulses, time. Nine, with the top of that shoulder, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we're gonna reverse it. So we're gonna bring those arms down to the thighs, slide the weights up the body. Bring the weights to the armpit, and then bring them straight out in front of the shoulder. Nine, eight, seven, ribs still pull in, glutes still squeeze at the top. Five, four, three, two, last one. And once again, we're gonna hold it. This time we're just gonna flip our palms up to the ceiling. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, little pulses up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, hit those biceps, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Give that a roll. All right, last thing we're going to do is what we call pulling straps. So again, normally on a reformer, you're laying on your box looking face down. Since we don't have that, we're just gonna lean our bodies slightly forward again into that diagonal position. We're gonna start with pull straps. So extending your arms out in front of you, nice straight line from your fingertips through your tailbone. Palms facing at each other. I want you to imagine, we've done this on our reformer before, that you have those straps in your hands. You're pulling your arms along those wooden rails. Bring those hands all the way up to your hips. In this case, I'm bringing them past my hips to really feel the squeeze in the upper back part of that arm. And I'm sliding and resisting as I bring those arms all the way back up to the top. So my body isn't moving. I'm just rotating those shoulders and then bringing those arms back up. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, last one. We're gonna hold it at the bottom, actually. Holding it here, palms still facing each other. Keeping those shoulders open, which is really hard for me to do. Five, four, three, two. For your pulses, flip your palms up towards the ceiling, pulse them up. And notice again, I'm not balancing this pulse. I'm working from the upper part of that arm and squeezing my shoulder blades together, keeping it slow so it stays muscular. Four, three, two, one. Bring that all the way in, giving that a roll. Next one we're gonna do is triceps. So again, finding that diagonal position with the body. This time, draw those elbows into the sides of the ribs. You're gonna keep your elbows pinned in place as you 
extend those arms all the way back behind you, palms facing at each other, and then bend at the elbow. Extend back, nine. The more you can extend and squeeze into the tricep, the more you'll get out of each rep. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, again, holding it back, keep those palms facing in at each other, keep those shoulders open. Neutral neck, no wrinkles in the front, in the back. Five, four, three, two. Now here, I just want you to squeeze those hands two inches into your body, two inches out. Feeling that in your lats, starting to feel a really big burn in that tricep. Five, four, three, two, and one, bringing that forward, doing that roll. All right, last thing we're gonna do is T pulls. So you're gonna, again, find that diagonal position with your body. You're gonna bring your arms out in front of you, this time palms face away from you. Trick is keeping your palms facing away from you the entire time. You're gonna keep the palm facing forward as you bring your pinky down into your thigh, and then slide those arms back up. So this almost looks as if you're doing a snow angel, obviously not laying down but that's the idea so your hands stay in that same plane the entire time keeping that as open as you can six I'm at the bottom squeezing into my lats trying to keep those shoulders open feeling triceps and still the sides of my body three more palms stay facing forward the entire time make good rotation in that shoulder if you can Two, last one. This time we're actually gonna hold it at the top, holding it here, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, little pulses up. And again, I'm not using the rest of my body, the pulse is coming just from the upper back part of that shoulder and arm. Not arching the back, so this stays in my core and it isn't in my back. Three, two, and one, good, bringing that forward and giving that a roll. So definitely suggest, as I do after all of my workouts, to give yourself a little bit of a stretch, especially now if your muscles warm, you can increase your flexibility. So you can lengthen those muscles a little bit further than you can if they're cold. So whatever arm stretches feel good for you here, this is helping opening up my shoulder. And then, Bringing that hand down to the center of my back here. And just pulling gently on that elbow. Feeling that stretch all into that tricep, upper part of that arm. And then reversing it. Bringing that palm to the upper part of my center back. Gently pulling on my elbow, tugging down. And then from here, just letting my arms Go back and forward, feeling it stretch through my chest, just getting those all loosened up. Thanks for doing that upper body workout with me. If you're still up for working out a little bit longer, we have some other short focused workouts that you can do as part of the series. You could do our lower body workout in under 10 minutes. We also have a side shaper that's great for your obliques and your hips and the tops of your thighs. And then we also have one that's just really out focused if you just want to hit the abs really hard. So check out one of those if you want to keep working out with us.